just the big thing is just confidence wise. We we're on a four game losing streak. Like I said, we just gotta stay connected and fight through all this. Just like I said, we just gotta bounce back from Monday. We can't dwell on this and then give another loss on Monday. We gotta get a big win for us on Monday going to the Big Ten conference. Seems like this team suffering from a lack of confidence right now offensively, is that fair? Yeah, I mean especially we're not making shots. You know, like I said earlier, even though we're not making shots, we gotta be able to score in other areas. I mean we're in the double bonus in the second half. We just gotta be able to get to the free throw and get back in the rhythm. Seems pretty clear that Derek and Spike aren't hundred percent. Is that fair to say? Yeah, I mean they're I mean but they are, but I mean everyone now has got some bumps and bruises. I mean it's just been a tough non conference for us, but we gotta be able to bounce back. Why do you think you'd be able to do that? Bounce back in the in the big ten season? I mean, we got, we got some great leadership. I mean, we got to show up more. Guys got to be more vocal. We got to hold each other more accountable. I, I mean, practice is going to be good for us tomorrow. Watch them film and see where we can grow. We just got to be ready, like I said, on Monday. And it's going to be a tough Big Ten conference for us. We're going to be ready for that. Do you think the ceiling is high enough that you guys can make a run at some point in the Big Ten? Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm confident in this group. I wouldn't want to go through this with any other group. And the group of guys I got right now, I believe we can get this done. What did you see that last 10 minutes? That was the difference, you know, that allowed them to go on that big run. Struggling to hit shots. We went cold. I thought, I mean, I, we held them to 62 points on the game, 20 turnovers. You know, I think I thought we played well defensively. It's just tough when I scoring and capitalizing on those mishaps that they had. How much, do you think, how, how much were you thinking about it? How much overthinking is going on when you know you want to close one out at home? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we got some pressure on us now. I think that's our third loss at home. I mean, we rarely lose at home. Past couple of years, it's tough for us. We are overthinking right now, but like I said, we just gotta. We can't worry about that. We just gotta have a, a next play mentality. Some people have said you lack the swag of some past teams, like the Nick and Trey out there. Yeah, do you think there's anything to that? I mean, it's tough right now. I mean, we're going, we're going through a lot of adversity right now. But I mean, like you said, we just gotta stay, stay connected and stay together. As long as we do that, I believe we'll be fine. Have you made any concerted effort to drive more to the basket, uh, put in more to your shots, get to the line? Yeah, I mean, that was a big focus for me. I think my first couple of jump shots were inside the lane. You know, I got fouled, got the hand one. I was getting the lane pretty well, but I, I mean, right now, no one's really knocking down shots from the outside. When you had that five point play there in the second half and got a couple offensive rebounds, the energy was really off, and then it maybe seemed to drain a little bit. Did you notice it changed at all? What happened? The big thing for us is that we got to create our own energy. I mean, I know we got the crowd into it, but I mean, when the crowd isn't into it, we got to create our own energy and get ourselves going instead of relying on our crowd. Thanks, guys.